Hey guys, what's up? As for most of the applications, you want to create and manage groups of related data. Here by manage, I mean store, queue, stack, iterate, find, short, and doing many more things with the related data. Now, how can you do that? Welcome to the series on C-Sharp Collections. In this series of videos, you will learn everything that is required for you to use collections in your application and also when to use which collections. This video is the first video in the series and here we will just learn what are collections, how does it help and what are the different types of collections available in C-Sharp. In upcoming videos, we will learn one by one in detail these different types of collections. So let's get started. So what is collection? To answer this, we should understand the main purpose of collection in any programming language. Let's understand this with some example. Say you have group of related data. Now, what do you mean by related data? We can say that related data are the data which are of same type, I mean same data type, and make some sense when we keep them together. For instance, age of all the employees of your company or name of all the employees. Now, these are group of data with built-in data types, that's int and string. However, we can have related data of complex data types as well which is more usual when we are working on real-time applications. Let's take an example. If your application is related to online shopping, then probably the kind of data that you will be dealing with could be customer or order. Now, all the customers together and all the orders together are also the example of related data. Now let's define collection. Collections are types that hold a set of related data objects together so that you can treat them as one single collection object on which you can then perform operations such as searching of particular item in the collection or doing something with every item of data. I hope it is clear to you what is collection and why it is crucial to our applications. Just a short recap. As mentioned, you can store many related data together in a collection, like all the customer informations in the customer object, and you can perform many operations to these group of data stored in a collection very easily, like this statement finds all the data in the customer collection object with the name Martin, and this statement prints all the name containing in previous find statement. Again, this statement checks if the name John exists in the given collection and if yes, prints text as a person with the name John exists. This statement sums all the age in the given collection and even you can bind the collection to your view and display the collection data in a control like data grid, list box or list view. You can actually do a lot of operations very easily if the group of data is in collection object. We will see all these in our upcoming videos. Now let's see the different types of collections in .NET framework. c -sharp broadly divides the collection classes between three namespaces. The first one is system.collection namespace. Under this, we have mainly four collection classes. That's ArrayList, Stack, Queue, Hashtable. These are kind of old collection classes and often not suggested to use. We have generic version of these classes, which are mostly we should be using. Next namespace is system.collections.generic. Under this, we have most of the collection classes and as mentioned, it is recommended that you should prefer these collection classes over the classes under namespace system.collection. We will be focusing more on these section of collection classes in our upcoming videos. The third namespace is system.collections.concurrent. 
This namespace provides collection classes for thread safe operations. Now with these collections, multiple threads will not create problem for accessing the collection items. This was a small introduction video on collections. So that's all for this video. I think you already had some idea about the collection and this video have refreshed all your knowledge regarding what exactly is collection in .NET framework. In upcoming videos, we will go through each one of this in detail. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and drop in your comments for all the future videos on C Sharp and other .NET technologies. Thanks.